So this is the new SSD. This is the Samsung 840 series. It's a uh, 120 gigabyte. So all you need is this little guy and the adapter, which is gonna allow you to connect your SSD via USB. It's pretty cool. We need a SATA to USB adapter, a screwdriver with Torx 6 and a Phillips tip and then USB flash drive. First thing you need is a USB, USB flash drive. Right now I have connected a one gigabyte USB drive and uh, let's go ahead and do it. First step, we're gonna go to Google and Google for Apple Recovery Disk Assistant. You're gonna click on the first link right there, right from Apple. And uh, even if it says um, Lion, it also works on Mountain Lion. So let's go ahead and download it. Open it. It only has one megabyte. It's not that big. Okay, so I have my uh, USB connected. Remember, this is gonna delete everything on your USB. So make sure you don't have anything important on it. So this program will create a bootable USB that is gonna let you install Mountain Lion on your brand new SSD. It's gonna take about one minute. Like I said, you don't need a big USB for this. One gigabyte is more than enough. I'm going to fast forward this so I can speed up a little bit the process. All right, so this is done. And let's go ahead and quit it and eject. All right, we we're done here. Screws are on here, all around. Uh, this is the hard drive, of course. And uh, all you gotta do is you gotta take off this two fasteners right here. Two guys right here has to come out. They actually don't come out, you just lose them. You lose all these two guys. Take this out. Put it on the side. You are going to remove that SATA connector. Also those four torque screws. You're going to install them on the new SSD and you're going to connect the uh, SD SATA cable back again, put everything back in place. Make sure you connect back the, uh, the little piece that holds a hard drive in place and close it up and put all the screws back in. Okay, so here is where I installed the uh, recovery partition. Recovery assistant. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So you want to turn on your Mac. Hold option here, right here. This screen is going to come out. I just put my drive in another slot. So, just like that. <clears throat> it's gonna take a while, a couple of seconds. So it looks like it's pushing up now. So like I said, this is the menu. You got different options here. You can, you have this utility, online help. You got reinstall OS X. That's more if you want to do like a clean backup from the uh, internet. That's what you want to select. But since I got a uh, time machine backup, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna head on, uh, put my drive now. 
the one where I have the backup, this guy here. Choose the last one. Let's back up. I did, and we're going to install it, of course, on the uh, SSD. And click restore. And it gives you a warning that it's going to delete everything on that drive. Sure. So this is the part where it's going to take about uh, 30 minutes. I guess so right after the installation is done, the computer is gonna do a restart and right after that you should be good to go. Let's go to more info, storage, and yep, there it is. 120 gigabytes solid state SATA. Well, I hope that helped you a little bit, guys, and uh, see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.